Alright, me and Jeremy are attempting to learn how to play AOS. So if we get anything wrong, it's Jeremy's fault. I blame you. I blame you. So the blame goes everywhere. Anyway, so I'm bringing a 740 point list. 750 is the limit for um, the AOS thing that we're doing. So 740 is what I could fit. I have a uh, White King with a uh, the sword on a steed. I have 10 black knights with the barrel lances and shields and the horn blower and a standard bearer. I have 10, 20, 30 skeletons and 3 units with horn blowers and standard bearers. And then I have 10 grave guard with this horn blower and standard bearer as well. And that's what we're going to try to fight the force of gray, the gray dwarfs. We'll show you them in just a second. Alright, Jeremy's going to tell us what he has in his gray dwarfs. Alright, so I'm playing Karadrana Overlords. I am running a Arcana Admiral, which has Endless Repeater and Dowdy Champion. Uh, then I have three squads of Arcana Company. Each company has three light skyhooks for each squad. And then I have a gun hauler with the Sky Cannon. And its special ability is Malefic Sky Mines. And then that comes out to 720 points. Alright, we'll be right back. Here's the table. Like one squad Skeletons are over here waiting for something. I don't believe it's in the game. Jeremy says it's in the game, but I believe it's a lie. He says something about shooting phase. Yeah, there's shooting phase. I believe that's a lie. There is no such thing. I'm one of the few armies that participates in said shooting phase. There's Jeremy over here with units he says has a shooting phase. Yeah, the, I'll have to read the, the rules. I believe the, this the is lies. The special characters have a 24 Ch Chandler's over shot. here. He's, he believes it's lies. you got to believe Chandler, right? He's like number four from Atlanta. He's one of those big Atlanta players. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be right back after we decide what happens turn one. So what happened is these two guys got shot off from here from his long-range shooting, which he still swears exists in AOS. It does? Yeah. Believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> and so two guys, two skeletons are down. But it's now my turn. It's my hero face. So we'll do this on camera for you guys. Because I have a banner. You can see him right there. And he says I can roll this D6 right there. Which is four. And you know what that means? That means these two guys come back. To the unit. So they're back. Skeletons have returned. These are Necrons on steroids. You got no shooting, so I'm going to go get it Yeah, I have no shooting whatsoever, so I'm going to do some movement and stuff, and we'll be right back. Uh, uneventful for the skeletons, turn one. Uh, what had happened well, What had happened was, we moved forward a lot. Skeletons move quite far when you give them the right abilities and stuff. They're, yeah, they're, they're quite rattly. And, uh, but we don't have a shooting phase, which is another point in that there is no shooting phase in AOS call. <laughs> But uh, we have nothing to shoot. We have no necromancers. We have no spells to fling. We're too far away to charge because we advanced. Um, and the enemy has stated, what did you state, that you're going to run away? I'm going to get exactly the distance <laughs> in my pistol, shoot you, and then back up. The enemy plans on running away. <laughs> so this is his plan. All right, so uh, we're gonna do the, we're gonna do the roll off here with you because each turn in AOS you have to roll off, except the first turn. The first turn is whoever finished deploying first. I got a one, so you're gonna beat me. Two. So you want to go first or me? Me. He wants to go first. All right. We'll see you later. Okay, here's what happened. The uh, the blue squad here got knocked out. But it did take his entire army Actually, to do this it. Yeah, those guys shot it. These guys, they took three guys off. But here we got to do this. First thing we got to do, sorry I'm bouncing around, is we got to just add a guy here. And that comes from the battalion trait where I can add one model to each unit within range of the warlord here. And then we roll for the skeleton's banner. And we get, uh, I'll roll it again. It was kind of cocked. Four guys back. Well, we only missing two, and now the skeleton group is back again. So, technically, or actually, what he has to do, he has to kill the entire skeleton squad to make them go away. It's not hard. <laughs> it's not super hard, but they, you have to kill them all. How much shooting I have? You do have to make them go away, so it is a, you know, it's a thing. All right, I'm gonna. 
do my turn? It's my hero phase. Everybody's going to move up four inches from the battalion trait. And then we're going to move our regular movement and we're going to do some stuff and see how it goes. See you guys in just a sec. All right, what happened? This thing dropped tons of bombs when I charged it. Uh, in total, after the combat, I lost three black knights. Uh, and I lost two out of the red team and one out of the purple team. I killed two guys out of here and two guys out of there and brought this down to six wounds on the giant balloon. And overall, pretty good fight. We are in turn three, so we'll roll off. It would be really nice to win this roll off because go to go I this roll off. To, to go again would really be nice. Four. Uh oh, 50-50. One! I won this roll off. This could be awesome. This could be the turning point, guys. We'll be back to see how the skeleton army handles this. See you in a minute. All right, so that roll was devastating. Being able to go again after I'd locked him in combat allowed me to crush this. We used his ability to get them each one extra attack, and so they crushed the balloon. And last time I forgot about my hooves and stuff, and this time I didn't. Uh, we took a bunch of guys out of there, I believe half, half of them almost. Uh, we took like four guys out of here, and we took like a bunch of guys out of there. There's only five left. So we crushed them. Are we continuing one more turn, Jeremy? Or are you seeding this battle? We're gonna, gonna get because we're gonna continue one more turn. We'll see you in a sec. Look at all these guys. Wow, shooting phase and beating phase while we are all locked up. This is where we are now. Right here. Um, not very many of those guys left. His guys here are hurt bad. Uh, we're kind of even here, and to still have all those knights. Knights are pretty powerful. And that unit of 10 is pretty powerful. But here's the big roll. Both of us got to roll it. We're on to the turn five. The thing is, whoever goes first this turn is probably going to have a really good chance of being the winner. So here we go, because if he gets a double turn, which will mean he wins, that's his double turn, it'll make up for my double turn. Plus, he might pretty much win. We'll see how it goes. I rolled a three. There's a 50-50 chance. A three. <laughs> Picking another die. Roll again. I rolled a five. You're probably going to win it. A two. All right. We'll see what happens. This yep. is turn five. We're going to see if it ends here or what happens. See you in a minute. All right. We've managed to bring the Arcanauts down to two dwarves. Or no, three dwarves here and three wounds on him. His, um, what's that called? It's not called Feel No Pain. But his basic is Feel No Pain like ability saved him from being crushed by the Black Knights. So now we're moving on to Jeremy's turn and see what he can do. The skeletons just keep coming back. The skeletons have cleared the field. All right, a little after battle commentary. Number one, the, um, the double turn is powerful if you can get it. Too good. It's, it's pretty powerful. Number two, if you're a skeleton player, the double turn is really powerful and Another thing with a skeleton player, there's two things that power. One, either if you get a double turn, that allows you to do some serious damage if it comes at the right moment in the battle. Number two is if you get a double turn done on you, it could be devastating because you can't regen your skeletons in between two turns, especially an army like his that has shooting and melee combat, so that's four rounds of damage to your skeleton army. You could pretty much get wiped from that. But it didn't go that way, it went the other way. And uh, the skeleton two turns in a row the whole game. <laughs> yeah, I took the two turns and then I just kept getting first turn, which was great. So, um, that worked out well for me. The knights, the black knights, are, are really powerful. I didn't realize they were that powerful. Um, being able to use the hooves and everything and then using the warlord trait that allows them to have one extra attack per weapon that they're using. Uh, meant the horses got an extra attack, meant the, the knights got an extra attack. It was putting out like 24 attacks. That was a lot of attacks in close combat. Um, you know, only fours and fives to hit and wound, but still, I mean, it's a lot of attacks. So, skeletons are not weak. They may look weak, they may seem weak, but um, skeletons got some some skills. Oh yeah. What do you think, Jeremy? I think that if you don't successfully get multiple turns, I think it would have been a lot closer. Like we got even yeah. going first, I think. What do you think about your army? The only left with these left, probably. But I wouldn't have been able to kill these. They're just too strong at 750 points. What do you think about the the, fly, the, the steampunk dwarf? What do you think about that army? I think they're fun. 
Oh, I think they, they're I think the that fact they're, that they they're basically, better at higher points. I don't think they're good at low points. I, I think they've got to bring more stuff. Yeah, and I think the fact that they basically because get like, two two rounds of attack. I would put guys in the flyer, and then you can charge the flyer mm -hmm. and probably not kill it, and then all of a sudden 40 dwarves pop out of it yeah. and just eradicate you. That would be crazy. So I think they're better at higher points. Well, and the fact that you get two two basically two rounds of attack per unit. Because yep. you have a shooting phase, and you, you basically always have a shooting phase and a, a it melee phase. It didn't help that every time I did a D3 damage and it actually hit, I rolled a 1 every yeah. time. And then like D6 damage, I rolled a 1 every time. I don't know about you, but that helped a lot. For you? <laughs> yeah, that helped me a lot. <laughs> Alright guys, for me. that was our first Age yeah, of Sigmar Skeletons um, versus the war the gray dwarves of the cardian overlords all right guys we will talk to you later